Ready? Okay. Over the last month, I've kind of been like diving deep on raw food diets for dogs. What I learned is if you're just feeding your dog kibble, it's really dehydrating. Their systems are not used to such a dry diet. So the first thing I started doing was adding moisture to her kibble. And then I read something that was like, we wouldn't feed ourselves the same thing every day. So why would we do that to our dogs? And if you look at like the food that I get her, it's chicken and rice. So every day she gets chicken and rice, the same kind of protein every time no variation, and it's all processed. So it started simple enough, just adding water to her dry food. Then, then I started going down this whole Instagram wormhole, and I'll put up somewhere um, the people that I've been following on Instagram that have been really helpful in uh, figuring this stuff out. So I'm gonna go through some of the stuff I've learned through this process, and hopefully it will give you some ideas for your dogs and cats. If you have cats as well, this will work for them. Hey, hi. I just got back from getting groceries, and um, I went to the thrift store and got, I'll show you. these ice cube trays. They're like a dollar each. So we're gonna do some creative treat making today. My little fridge is very full. I don't want it to go bad and I can't just keep it in the fridge and I wanna freeze it just to make room. Also, Sailor has been eating really, really fast. I think it's because I've been adding uh, fresh food to her diet, so now she's really mm -hmm. into eating. I got her a slow eating bowl after a few regurgitation incidents. Sailor has a new bowl. You can see it is deeper than this one I got and this one is super squishy so she can get in those little crevices easier whereas this one is hard plastic. That seems to be helping but I think another way to do it is to freeze things like I think that'll slow her down. Also I feel like that might be good for her teeth to chew on something a little harder so today we're gonna make a few of these weird recipes to freeze. The first thing I'm going to be making is something that I'm calling anti-inflammation bites. So this is going to be a mix of this turmeric mix that I've made, which is turmeric, coconut oil, and black pepper, and this yogurt that I need to get out of my fridge because um, it's taking up space and I bought another one of these today, so this has got to go. So what I'm going to do is mix these two together in one of those ice cube trays. The turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, so that's really good for a lot of different things actually, gut health included. The coconut oil is an antifungal and an antibacterial. And then the last thing is the black pepper. The reason you put the black pepper in there is it does something to help with the absorption of the turmeric, make that anti-inflammatory work. And because I have this yogurt, I'm gonna throw that in here as well. This is plain Greek yogurt, no flavor, no sugar, nothing extra. Um, this has a ton of probiotics in it, as you probably know. Extremely good for gut health. So um, I think that'll be a nice little anti-inflammatory bite. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of yogurt at the bottom of each one. What are you excited about? It's going to be kind of hard to get it in there, I think. Oh, not too bad. Yeah, I think each bite would be too much in these if it was just the turmeric, so I'm glad I'm doing it with the yogurt. Okay, now we're gonna add in this turmeric mix. So, I guess I should wipe that off. Like I said before, this is turmeric with coconut oil and a little black pepper. That's kind of what it looks like, just this paste. And you know what I might do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a blueberry in the middle of each one. Want a blueberry? Want a blueberry? All right, let's put one in each of these for a little antioxidant boost. This dog is so spoiled, but her body is going to be so happy for this. All right, so that's where we're at. So again, I only have this one tray, so got a long way to go. The next thing I'm going to make is a protein bite. The reason I'm doing this is because I got a lot of 
weird meats and stuff and I don't have a freezer in the van and I don't want it to go bad. So I think the best thing to do is to freeze it. You want to be mixing up different types of protein in your pet's diet. So what I have here is, it's open, so I'm not gonna really, uh, organic grass-fed beef. I swear this dog eats better than I do. That is one protein that we like to use. We also like to do sardines, so I might combine that in the future, but for today, I'm just going to do the grass-fed beef and this lovely combination of chicken hearts and gizzards. I'm actually gonna put this in the blender first and um, blend it up a little bit before mixing it in with the beef. What I'm adding to that is steamed broccoli. Steamed broccoli is actually really good for their heart health, for their bones, and for their immune system. So steamed broccoli is gonna get added into it. I'm gonna put some of this in here as well. All right, again, my ice cube tray is a good washing, so they're drying over here. And I'm going to grind up chicken hearts and gizzards, which is horrifying. But let's do it so I don't have to look at it in this form, because that's gross. It's kind of my nightmare. Oof. I think I'm gonna have to do it in parts, so a little at a time. This is just a cheap little blender that someone gave me, but it's nice and small, so it fits in the van. It sort of worked. All right, now we're adding in some of the steamed broccoli. Oh, someone's here to beg. You already ate. Yummy, right? Yeah, that's pretty gross. All right, now we are going to fill. This is the bigger size ice cube tray. I think that's better for the meat. So I don't even know what's the best way to do this. I guess just, just like that. All right, that's what it looks like. This has got this handy little cover thing too, so that's easy to transport. Yeesh, all right, well, there's still a ton of meat left. I'm just gonna put this in a bag and I'm not even sure what. I'm making a couple things for hydration. So the first thing, I got this rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna take the bones that are left and put it in the Instapot and just boil that down and make a bone broth. So I'll use that to put on her food to hydrate it. It's also really good for gut health. And I feel like that's a really good way to get the bone broth because if you buy it on its own, A, it's expensive. And B, a lot of time when you get bone broth from a store, it has onion and garlic and salt and pepper and all these things that taste good to us, but is not great for dogs and cats. Oh, and the other thing I'm gonna do is just brew a little bit more green tea because that is another really good way to hydrate the food. Green tea is actually really good to help with their bad breath if they have bad breath. And it's also really good for gut health, apparently. So a lot of antioxidants in that. Same with the blueberries, a lot of antioxidants in here. The other thing I'm gonna make is these dental chews where you take carrots and you soak them for a few hours in bone broth. So once that bone broth is done, I'll soak some of these carrots in that. Once they're soaked really well and you get that bone broth in there, you freeze those and then they can chew on that and it's good for their teeth. Okay, bone broth. Yeah, that's about right. That's what's left. This is my band size strainer. This is the bone broth I made yesterday. That's not focusing. This is the bone broth that I made yesterday. I'm gonna soak the carrots in this bone broth for like seven or eight hours, and then I'm gonna freeze them at work because I don't have a freezer in the van. So we're going to prep them. I think I'm just gonna cut them in half just so they fit better. Pretty small container, so I guess I can't really fill too much. Ooh. Perfect. So we'll just let that soak for seven to eight hours. 
and that's that. All right, so this is coming to work with me. We're gonna freeze it. Kind of make sure I don't spill it on the way. Just leaving work and I grabbed some freezer treats. The only problem is that um, I have to pretty much go home and give this to her immediately because it's frozen. So <laughs> um, this isn't going to go into her meal. I'm just going to give it to her and see if she likes it, which what's not to like. Okay, we got peas and broccoli and beef and some chicken heart and gizzard. That didn't last very long. Okay, let's try this other one. Yogurt. Yogurt, turmeric with the coconut oil and the little black pepper. The blueberry treat in the middle. I think she likes it. This is bone broth. Chicken bone broth, soaked carrot, frozen, dental chew. Wow. Okay. Good job. Oh, hi. She's gonna flip out. She's gonna get her gross chicken paw. I, I have to stop saying, um, coconut oil. Is this still going? Yeah. <clears throat> Again, like I said, she eats better than I do. All right, this is how I hold it. And it's not my favorite thing to do, but, oh. Is that good? Oh! What's happening here? Oh, okay. Can you not swallow the whole thing, please? But antifungal and antibacterial, right? I can't tell if it's slowing her down. I guess so. Okay, goodbye.